Henry Aaron was a giant of a man. His accomplishments were quite literally the stuff of legends. Terry and I must be listening to the same broadcast um, because I do think it's amazing. Even if you have 155 home runs, he still had every year between 1955 and 1975. But there were so much more to Hank Aaron than his feats on the field. Hank Aaron was not just a great player, he was truly a great man. Hank Aaron carried himself with a sense of dignity. When you were around Hank, you could sense an aura of greatness and people were naturally drawn to that aura. The great Muhammad Ali once said that Hank was the only man I idolized more than myself. Hank Aaron was humble. I knew Hank for more than two decades, and I never once heard him talk about his own accomplishments on the field. In fact, when others would talk about Hank's great career, he would acknowledge that conversation only with that wonderful smile of his. Hank's humility allowed him to be generous in his praise of others. Each year at the World Series, Hank would award um, the award that's named after him to two of our great major league players, and he would offer a really genuine commentary on the performance of those two players. It was that personal commentary from Hank that made the award that bears his name so coveted by all of our players. Hank Aaron was an agent of change in our society. As he chased Babe Ruth's record, he received vile, racist threats. Through that wrenching period, he courageously demonstrated the strength to keep going. He persevered and delivered to all African Americans an accomplishment in which they could take great pride. He also delivered to his racist detractors the message that greatness, greatness in a man from the deep south, a black man from the deep south, could not be suppressed. Just as Jackie Robinson was the perfect person to change our game forever in 1947, Hank Aaron was the perfect person to meet the historic moment that he created in 1974. Hank Aaron was an educator. Two years ago, we decided to rename our premier youth event, the Elite Development Invitational, as the Hank Aaron Invitational. We had a nice press conference, made the announcement, and continued with our planning for the event. As the event drew near, the phone rang in my office, and it was Mr. Aaron. I assumed that he wanted to talk about the baseball activities that lay at the heart of the Invitational. But I was wrong. Henry wanted to know about the educational part of our program, the historic sites that we planned for the participants to visit, the activities that we had planned off the baseball field, and most important, the lessons we were trying to teach and the values we were trying to instill. Hank truly cared about the next generation. In his philanthropy and his business endeavor, this celebrated power hitter was all about empowering others. In closing, I hope you will indulge me in a personal observation. I knew Hank Aaron for more than two decades. Our relationship was a true honor and pleasure for me. It was an honor to know one of the best, if not the best player of all time. It was a pleasure to spend time with a man of humility and dignity who helped change America and have that man share just a little bit of himself with me. Billy, thank you for sharing Hank with us. And again, my deepest condolences.